Well, you seem to have an amazing reputation for working hard. Now, do you ever stop during the day? Do you take a break? <laughs> Don't know. Um, um, I never used to, but I do now. Well, my too. So I'll have a cup of a bit, it's a quick break, but not a long one. <laughs> if I don't have a break, I'm not allowed to work. <laughs> I think day of the week, I've got a key, I'll come in, I'll turn the alarm up. I used to get here at eight o'clock, 20 past eight. Then I'll go and tidy all the clothes up in the shop. Sort the clothes, I'll go out the back, I'll help people unload the cars. I love doing that. Because you meet nice people and you always thank them for their donation for charity. And I always say to them, when they drop this double, the money stays in the town and help the, the neediest in the town. We always get beautiful comments about customers or visitors. And I they've been to a lot of shops, but this one's special. I think everyone's really jealous that I have Lynn in my store. I think every manager that I've had come over to the store go, wow, I need a Lynn. So I kind of go, um, because she's probably the hardest working person I've ever met in my life. And she comes to work every day with, how are we going to make a dollar, Kim? How are we going to make a dollar? Sometimes I think she has more energy than me and she keeps me on the toes and she keeps me working. So I love having her in the store. I think I said to you earlier, she's the only person I had to sit down at a count at, at you know, my office and go, Lynn, you have to slow down. You can't work as much as you do. I don't want to take advantage of you, Lynn. It's my duty of care to make sure you have rest, Lynn. And so we come up with the conclusion that she has to sit with me every day for lunch or else she has to have another day off. You're a hard worker. It just comes natural to me. Everyone says it's hard. I'm a hard worker, but it's just natural, and I don't think I'm working hard. It's just me. That's funny, Lynn always has a, um, a say, it's got to be fine and dainty, Kim, fine and dainty. And um, she will go through cuttery and break up all the sets, and then we will box them individually so people can see what they're buying quick and easy. They look neat, they look clean, they look much newer. They sell really well. Just the level of care, like she went through a period of time where she was hand sewing all the buttons onto a card because it looked nicer. And she'd spend hours and we come to the conclusion that we would put it in a little bag and clip it to a little piece of board and it was a bit quicker and easier, but the detail needs to be there for Lynn. But that's the same, I think when people come into the store, that's what they see. They see the level of care that goes in and for Lynn to be my daily coordinator and to have that level of care every day and naturally rubs off onto the other people. So you kind of go to that upward spiral of how can we make it look more amazing rather than I don't care, whatever's, whatever's good enough. It's like, no, she has a lot of um, pride, yeah. I love the finish because the people are so warm and friendly and they all here to do their bit for charity and they appreciate what they do. I feel good at the end of the day because you meet people and you help people and you go home and you know you've done a good deed for the day. <laughs>